success in an easy. A person going to the gym or training their body is a, is a beautiful example of this. And it's a metaphor for anything in life that you want to achieve. Do you notice that if you want to build muscle, you have to rip your muscle first. It has to tear. Not rip, but it has to tear. When you tear your muscle, it builds back stronger. And when you go to the gym, you see guys are screaming with pain. With pain. He's sweating. He finished. <gasps> He's breathing heavy. Why is he going through that pain? For the success that comes at the end of it. That's why the scholars, they said, لا يستطاع العلم براحة الجسم You want to become a scholar? You can't do it chilling. You can't do it in a relaxed body. It comes through blood, sweat and tears. You want to become best. You want to become champion. And now you want to say like you're tired. Mm -hmm. Who cares? You're tired or not? Nobody cares about you. The resilient, the 1 to 5%, they go through all of the traumatic experiences, the hardship, and they use that in their business. They use that in their mindset. And once they use that in their business and their mindset, their life begins to change. So you've got to choose, which person do you want to be? Do you want to be the person who just has a sob story? Or do you want to be the person who uses their sob story and turns it to a success story? When you don't have talent, you have to work so hard. When you work so hard and sacrifice your time, dedicate like sacrifice, you become more disciplined. Is that what it takes to be a champion? Having discipline and control over both your mind and body to become a champion like yourself? No, you need both, 100%. High goals come with high work. You can't live an average, you can't, you can't live an above average life when you're an average man. You have to live an above average life, you have to put an above average effort. If people that are living an average life get up at 6 a.m., you need to get up at 4. If people who live an average life are spending 2-3 hours studying for the exams, you need to spend 5-6. If people are just worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, praying the obligatory, you don't want to be praying just the obligatory, you want to pray the sunnah as well. Be ready because Allah already knows what's going to happen, you know. Don't worry about this. Just do your things, okay, result. We don't control result. Nobody control result. Just do your things, see if you win, win. If you lose, lose. But when you go to the cage, do everything for your win, you know. Don't give up. Don't give up. Be patient. And that's it. If you want to give up, you can give up. This is your choice. You can do whatever you want. Your time's gonna come, but you cannot give up. There's no time to slack. If you want to achieve your goals, if you have goals to achieve this year, start right now.